division fight. All right, so here we are back inside Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is as loud and as knowledgeable as proud as we'll experience really all year on the UFC Roadshow. It's a great fight environment. The Bell Center is a fantastic venue. What type of performance are you going to give these great fans tonight? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. You got him. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Under two minutes to go. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. It up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that left hook. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Formiga gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, let's get to round two. Look at him chopping the wood. He chopped the wood with those leg kicks. Big body kick lands. Ooh. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Just out of range with that left hook. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. That strike blocked by Formiga. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment.
Third round underway. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Nice body kick. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting the ass. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Right hand on the shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Vicious combo there. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Went for the inside leg kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Switching stances here. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a punch. Formiga's low. Oh, oh, that's a solid DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Under two minutes to go. Right hook to the body. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful legs. Oh, 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 blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh! This is a great fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. 30 seconds to go in the round. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big punch lands through the middle. 10 seconds to go in round four. Nice uppercut. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round.
Here we go, fifth and final round. Under three minutes to decide this one. Back with that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully, perfect placement on that shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Oh! Oh! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got it! He got it! Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. That'll do it! And that'll do it! He got him! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right,